This is Energy Island, which is a concept to create large amounts of energy from the sea. And the principal source of energy is called Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion, known as OTEC. And OTEC uh, is based on the difference of temperature of uh, oceans, uh, Pacific Ocean, other oceans where the, the sea is around 25 degrees centigrade and you can draw water at 5 degrees centigrade from a thousand meters down through this tube at the bottom you draw the wa cold water up and it serves to condense the working fluid that has been evaporated by the, the warm sea so you get this 20 degree C difference of temperature which has been assessed by an engineer from the U.S. Department of Energy as equivalent to a dam the height of Mount Everest. So even if you can only get 2% efficiency, you're still talking about a dam of uh, 200 meters high, which is a, g a good height uh, for a dam. Anyway, that, that's the main source. But to prime that source, uh, you're using other energies. So the energy island is surrounded on the wave front by a wave energy collector. And then uh, underneath here, you have a sea current collector. The hot water is drawn along these channels into the center and is used to evaporate a fluid and condense it with the cold water from the depths. The, the main purpose would be to transfer all the electricity, which could be 250 megawatts. Well, 250 megawatts is about uh, a quarter of a small nuclear station. So eight uh, of these would be the equivalent to a very large nuclear station. So uh, this island has the main advantage also that as all the energy is taken from the sea, the heat is taken from the sea and therefore effectively cools the sea down by the energy taken out. Whereas nuclear power stations and fossil fuel stations reject approximately a little bit over 50% of the, the energy generated as heat into rivers or the sea or the air. Uh, here we get a system where we are actually cooling the oceans, which is very beneficial.